Namaste to all. Welcome to our Thursday yoga session. We'll start with the starting prayer. So please sit in any comfortable position, keeping your back and neck straight. And gently close your eyes. Take a couple of seconds, absorb the breathing to calm down the mind, to silence the mind. Just absorb the inhalations and exhalations. Let's start today's session with three long Omkar and Shanti Mantra, Sahana Avatu. Let's join your hands at the heart center in Namaskara Mudra. Inhale. Oh. One last chunk. Inhale. Oh. Uh-huh. Release the hands, slowly take them back. Catch your right wrist with the left palm, inhaling slightly, lean backward. As you exhale, bend forward, surrender to the great divine, yoga and yoga masters. Inhale, come back, send. Release the hands, gently open your eyes. Slowly come up to standing position. We'll start with standing position practices. First practice will start with joint loosening, wrist rotation, legs slightly apart, and stretch out the arms in front of the body at shoulder level. Make a tight fist, taking the thumb inside, make a tight fist. Start rotating the wrists inwards to outwards. One, keep the elbows tight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opposite, the other way around. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly start the practice. Bring your awareness to the wrists and forearm muscles. Feel the Blood circulation, slight blood circulation in the arms. Next practice. Hands in and out breathing. Bring your legs together. Again, stretch out the hands in front of the body at shoulder level. As you inhale, slowly spread the arms sideways, expanding the chest. As you exhale, bring the hands forward with palms touching each other. Inhale, take the hands away from each other. Exhale, bring it together. Continue the practice. 
Keep your eyes closed. Synchronize the breathing with the hand movements. Be aware of the changes that are happening in the arms, in the entire chest, in the upper back muscles. Practice with complete awareness. Absorb the hand movements. Absorb the chest expansion and contractions. Feel the shoulder blade movements. Mindful breathing and mindful practice. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Slow down the practice. Slow down. Reduce the speed. After this round, gently stop. Drop your hands down. Relax the shoulder joints, legs slightly apart. Feel the warmth in the shoulder joints. Feel the changes in the triceps, biceps muscles. After a short relaxation, next practice will do side bending, trikonasana breathing. Just keep your legs apart about two and a half feet to three feet. Inhaling, raise the arms sideways until your shoulder level. As you exhale, slowly and laterally, start bending towards your right side. Slide your right palm on the right leg until it reaches the right ankle. Inhale, come back to center and exhale towards your left side. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, come back to center, exhale. Let's continue the practice. So bend from the sides of the waist and without leaning forward. Please do not lean forward. Lateral bending. Inhale, exhale. And look at up the hand which is stretched up. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale. Exhale now, gradually increase the speed. Keep breathing through nostrils. Feel the stretches on the sides of the body. Observe the changes in the entire leg muscles. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, slow down the practice, slow down, reduce the speed. Now, after these repetitions, final pose asana, turn your right foot outwards now and square the hip, start bending towards your right side. Slide your right palm on the right leg, keep your left hand at 90 degree, your left palm facing forward, all fingers together. Lift your left hand slightly up. Keep the knee joints tight. Look at the left hand tip of the fingers. Suppose if you have any neck issues, just look forward. Drishti, Agra Drishti. With your each exhalation, try to enhance the stretches. Feel the Stretches on the left side of your body, the entire leg muscles. So you can observe the flexibility of your spine, leg muscles. Inhale, come back to center. Turn your right foot inwards, now left foot outwards. Now inhale. As you exhale, start bending towards your left side from the right side of the waist. You're not leaning forward, so lateral bending. And look at the right hand tip of the fingers. Keep the knee joints tight. Open up the chest, lift your right hand slightly up. Look at the right hand tip of the fingers. Deeply connect your mind with the breathing. Always while holding the posture, 
Breath awareness makes the posture ease and comfortable. Enjoy the stretches, enjoy the asana. Inhale, all the way up and exhale. Bring the hands down, relax in Shithila Tadasana. Keep your legs slightly apart. Gently close your eyes. Allow the mind to observe the changes. Feel the changes on the sides of the body, around the neck region. After a sufficient relaxation, next practice we will do leg stretch sideways. Bring your legs together to strengthen the legs. Arms on the waist. While inhaling, stretch out your right leg sideways up without bending the knee. Exhale, come back. Now left leg, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Keep your entire torso straight. Keep your eyes open. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Excellent practice to the entire leg muscles, knee joints. Improves the body balance, opens up the hip joints. Increase the speed. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Three more rounds. One last. After practicing with your left leg, gently start the practice. After each practice, allow the mind to observe the changes, observe the breathing, calm down the mind. After these practices, now we are moving to sun salutations. So the Namaskar, 10 counts. So come to the front part of the mat. Bring your legs together. Adapt Namaskara Mudra Pranamasana. Om Mitraya Namaha. One, inhaling, raise the arms up. Separate the hands and bend backward. Two. Exhale, bend forward from the hip joints. Drop your hands and head down. Three, take your right leg back. Place your right knee on the ground. Turn your head up. Inhale. Exhale, take your left leg back. Plank pose. Five, inhale and exhale. Rest your knees, chest and chin on the ground. Keep your pelvic off the ground. Six, inhale, cobra. Seven, exhale, parvatasana. Eight, inhale, bring your right leg between the hands. Rest your left knee on the ground. Press your lower back down and turn the head up. Nine, exhale, bring your left leg front. Ten, inhale all the way up and bend back. Exhale, come back to starting position, Pranamasana. Om Ravaye Namaha. One, inhale. Two, exhale. Three, inhale, left leg back. Four, exhale. Five, inhale and exhale. Six, inhale. Seven, exhale. Eight, inhale, left leg. Between the hands, rest your right knee on the ground. Nine, exhale, right leg front. Ten, inhale. 
Exhale. Om Suryaya Namaha. One, inhale, backward bending. Two, exhale, forward bending. Three, inhale, right leg back. Four, exhale, left leg back. Five, inhale and exhale. Ashtanga Namaskar Asana. Six, inhale, Cobra Pose. Seven, exhale, Parvatasana. Eight, inhale, right leg front. Nine, exhale, left leg front. Ten, inhale, all the way up and bend backward. Exhale. Om Bhanave Namaha. One, inhale. Two, exhale. Three, inhale, take your left leg back. Four, exhale, right leg back. Five, inhale and exhale. Six, inhale, seven, exhale, eight, inhale, left leg front, nine, exhale, right leg front, ten, inhale, exhale. Fifth round, Om Tagaya Namaha. One, inhale, two, exhale, three, inhale, right leg front, four, exhale, left leg back, inhale, and exhale, Ashtanga Namaskarasana, inhale, Cobra Pose, exhale. Adhomukha Shwanasana or Parvatasana. Eight, inhale, right leg between the hands. Nine, exhale, left leg. Ten, inhale. And exhale. Three more rounds. Sixth round. Om Poshne Namaha. One, inhale, backward bending. Two, exhale, forward bending. Pada Hastasana. Three, inhale, take your left leg back. Ashvasan Chalanasana. Four, exhale, right leg back. Samatolasana, plank pose. Five, inhale, rest your knees. Exhale, rest the ch chest and chin on the ground. Six, inhale, cobra, bhujangasana. Seven, exhale, adhomukha, shvanasana, downward dog, or parvatasana. Eight, inhale, bring your left leg between the hands again, ashvasan chalanasana. Nine, exhale, right leg, French, padahastasana. And ten, inhale, exhale. Two more rounds. Om Kiranyagarbhaya Namaha. One, inhale. Two, exhale. Three, inhale, right leg back. Four, exhale, left leg back. Five, inhale and exhale. Six, inhale. Seven, exhale. Eight, inhale, right leg front. Nine, exhale, left leg front. Ten, inhale. All the way up and bend backward. Exhale. One last round. In this last round, we are going to hold each asana for a few seconds, maybe 10, 10 seconds. Om Marichaye Namaha. One, 
Inhale, raise the arms up and bend backward. Stay here for few breaths, bend backward. Keep the hands, your elbows straight, knee joints straight. Two, exhaling, start bending forward from the hip joints. Drop your hands and head down. So you have lower back issues, so you can bend your knees. Drop your hands by the side of the legs on the ground. Gently close your eyes. Loosen the facial muscles. Loosen the hip joints. Feel the intense stretches in the entire leg muscles. Three, inhale, take your right left leg back. Place your left knee on the ground, Ashwasanchalanasana. Press your entire pelvic down from the lower back. So don't move your knee over the ankle, right ankle. So this is perpendicular to the ground. Good. the ceiling, adjust forward. Four, take your right leg back, plank pose. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five. Rest your knees and the chest on the ground. A strong namaskar asana. Your entire pelvic is raised up. Ashtanga Namaskarasana, eight limbs, salutation pose. Six, inhale, swing the body like a fish. Cobra pose, only your hands and the toes on the ground, your entire legs off the ground. Don't rest your knees on the ground. Open up the chest. Seven, downward dog, slowly. Move the hips towards the ceiling. Take the chin to the chest. Parvatasana. Keep the knee joints straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now eight, bring your left leg between the hands. Rest your right knee on the ground. Turn the head up. Open up the chest. Observe the breathing. Now nine, again, bring your right leg forward. Or Adahastasana. Hands to feet pose. Drop your head down. This is very good practice for the constipation makes the spine flexible, strengthens the knee joints. And inhale all the way up, bend backward, and exhale, come back to starting position, pranamasa. Release the hands. Now relax, gently close your eyes. Listen to your body, feel the active blood circulation throughout the body after wonderful eight rounds of sun salutation, Surya Namaskar. Now, sitting position practices. We slowly come to sitting position. The first practice we'll start with ankle stretch. So forward and backward. Keep the entire back straight with your hands support. Legs slightly apart. Inhaling slowly, stretch the ankles backwards towards the knee joints and press the calf muscles down. As you exhale, stretch out the ankles forward and press the heels down. Inhale backward stretch. 
Exhale, forward stretch. Inhale. Exhale. Continue with the practice. Keep your eyes closed. Exhale. Inhale, backward stretch. Exhale, forward stretch. Keep the knees straight. Softly close your eyes. Excellent practice for the calf muscles, ankle joints, and the soles of the feet. It relieves strain from the ankles, from the soles of the feet, and strengthens the calf muscles. It opens up the knee joints and the ankle joints. Increase the speed a little faster. In, inhale, exit. Inhale, exit. Slow down the practice, slow down. Reduce the speed. Gently stop. Tap your legs on the ground for more relaxation. Feel the active blood circulation at your feet. Now, butterfly practice. So bring your feet together and interlock the fingers. Hold the toes with the palms. Keep your entire back and neck stretch. Slowly start flapping your legs up and down. Loosen the knee joints and loosen the inner thigh muscles and the pelvic bones. Gently close your eyes. Just Throughout the practice, maintain regular breathing and have a gentle smile on your face. At the same time, focus on the knee joints, inner thigh muscles, hip joints. Excellent practice for the knee joints. It is also hip opening practice. Increase the speed. Flap your legs a little faster. Slow down the practice, slow down. Reduce the speed. Now gently start the flapping. From the same position, we are going to practice forward bending, Baddha Konasana. Inhale first. While exhaling, bending the elbows, bend forward from the hip joints. Take your forehead towards the big toes. Inhale, come back, center, five rounds, repetitions. Exhale, bend forward. Continue the practice. Just keep your eyes closed. Synchronize the breathing with the practice. Inhale, exhale. One last round. After this round, final pose, slowly bend forward. Stay here for five to six slow breaths. Drop your head down, loosen the facial muscles. Keep breathing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Inhale, come back to center. Release the hands slowly. Straighten your legs, relax. Just move your feet to the right and left. Relax in Shitala Dandasana. Put your hands behind the back on the ground. Gently close your eyes. Now listen to your body from toes to head. Deep breathing. Inhale and exhale and calm down the mind. After a short relaxation. Now, Bhunamanasana, twisting, spinal twisting practice. Bring your feet together. 
lock your big toes. So we are twisting only middle part of the body without lifting the lower part of the body. Keep your back and neck straight. First inhale. While exhaling, place your hands on the right side on the floor and slowly twist without lifting your hips or calf muscles or the heels without lifting. Inhale, come back to center. Take the hands towards left. Inhale, exhale. Let's continue the practice. Twist as much as you can. Take your forehead towards the floor without lifting the hips. Inhale, exhale. Give a nice twist to the entire spine and the waist. Bhu Namanasana. Inhale, exhale. Synchronize the breathing with the practice. Inhale, exhale. Give a nice twist to your stomach, the entire spine. Two more rounds. One last round. After practicing towards your left side, slowly start the practice. Just hands behind the back on the ground. Gently close your eyes. Observe how the entire spine, the back muscles are feeling and completely relax. After a short relaxation, next practice we will do forward stretch with legs apart. Spread your legs as apart as possible and place your hands on the floor. First, inhale. As you exhale, slide your hands forward and bend forward from the hip joints. Take your forehead towards the floor. Inhale, slide the hands backward. Exhale, stretch the hands forward. Keep the knee joints straight throughout the practice. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep your eyes closed. This is Kurmasana stretch, turtle stretch. Gradually increase the speed. Inhale, backwards, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Try to increase the flexibility of your leg muscles and the entire spine. Excellent practice. Reduces the fat around the waist. Strengthens the hip muscles, knee joints. Continue the practice. Tell your mind you can do this practice. Slow down, slow down. After these repetitions, now final pose. Bend forward, spread the hands, hold the big toe with your index and middle finger, lock. Now, slowly drop your head down towards the floor. Deeply connect your mind with the breathing. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, release the hands and relax. Begin relaxing, Shitila Dandasana. Feel the active blood circulation throughout the leg muscles. Entire back muscles have been stretched. Just be with your breath after experiencing the changes. 
after this forward, extreme forward stretch, now back foot bending, counter pose. Just fold your right leg. So come to Vajrasana, Thunderbolt pose. We'll do camel pose. Stand on your knees. Keep your legs apart, about a feet. Place the palms on the waist. Once you're ready, inhaling, start bending backward. Slightly push your lower back, your hips and your abdomen forward and drop your head back. This is half camel pose. If you're comfortable and flexible, place your right palm on the right heel, left palm on the left heel and stretch your body forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale and exhale. Slowly sit back on your heels. Release the legs one by one. And relax in Shitala Dandasana. Legs apart. Put your hands behind the back on the ground. And complete relax. Now, next, supine position practices. Slowly lie down on your back. Come to supine position. Legs slide apart. Just loosen all the muscles and all the joints of your body. And deep breathing, inhale and exhale. First practice, you'll start with alternate strike leg raising. Bring your legs together, heels together, toes together, hands by the side. Arms facing down. Stretch out the toes fully forward. While inhaling, slowly raise your right leg all the way up, up to 90 degree. Exhale, down. Now, left leg goes up. Inhale, exhale. Continue the practice about 12 to 15 rounds. Inhale, exhale. Keep your eyes closed. Synchronize the breathing with the leg. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. After a few rounds, gradually increase the speed. Excellent practice for the leg muscles, knee joints. So for the lower back muscles, Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Observe how the practice is going on. Slow down the practice, slow down. Reduce the speed. After this round, practicing with the left leg, gently stop. Relax in Shavasana, legs apart, hands slightly away from the body, palms facing upwards. Now feel the active blood circulation in the entire leg muscles. Feel the warmth at the knee joints. And completely relax. After a short relaxation, next practice we will do bridge pose, Setu Bandhasana. Just fold your legs at knee level. Bring the heels as close to the hips as possible and keep your legs apart about one feet. Hands by the side, palms facing down again. Inhaling, lift your hips, lower back and middle back up as high as possible. Exhale, bring the 
enter back down. Inhale, repeat this practice for 10 rounds. Exhale, keep your eyes closed. As you inhale, raise your hips, lower back and middle back upwards as high as possible. As you exhale, bring the entire back to the ground and feel the changes during this practice in the hamstrings, around the knee joints, in the hips and the lower back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, three more rounds. Slow down the practice, slow down. Now final pose, asana, say to bandhasana, inhale, lift your entire back up, hold the position, stay here for 10 counts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly bring your entire back to the ground. Straighten your legs, relax. Just loosen all the muscles and all the joints of your body. After these practices, now Shavasana, DRT, deep relaxation. Please remain in supine posture. Lie down on your back. This is five to six minutes practice, deep relaxation, Shavasana. Throughout the practice, keep your eyes closed, legs apart, hands slightly away from the body, palms facing upwards. Once scan your entire body from toes to head, how beautifully the entire body is lying down on the ground. Completely observe. Make sure you don't have any tightness in the muscles, in the joints. Let it be completely relaxed. In this practice, we are going to connect our mind with each and every part of the body and relax. Bring your awareness to the tip of the toes. Relax them consciously. Relax the soles of your feet. Relax the heels and the ankle joints. Connect your mind with the calf muscles, relax. Gently pull up the kneecaps. Once tighten your knee joints, feel the tense, then release and relax, let go. Relax the hamstrings. Compress and squeeze the buttock muscles in and relax. Loosen the hip joints. And relax the entire pelvic region. Now the lower part of the body from toes to waist is completely relaxed. For more relaxation to the lower part of the body, we are going to produce a sound three times, inhale,
second round, inhale. One last round. of Akara Asan in the lower part of your body and relax. Let us relax the middle part of the body from waist to neck. Bring your attention to the abdomen. Feel the abdominal muscles and relax. Relax the entire chest cavity and chest muscles. Shift your awareness to the back. Relax the lower back and mid-back muscles. Feel the entire spine. Loosen all the vertebrae one by one, mentally and relax. Loosen the shoulder blades and relax the upper back muscles. From there, shift your mind to the fingertips. Relax the fingers and palms. Then relax the wrist joints and forearm muscles. Relax the elbows and triceps, biceps muscles. Relax the shoulder joints and neck muscles. Without opening your eyes, slowly turn your head towards right and left to feel the neck muscle movements. Again, bring your head back to the center or any convenient position. Now totally relax the middle part of the body from Waist to neck is completely relaxed. For further relaxation to the middle part of the body, now we are going to produce U sound, U syllable, Ukara chanting three times. While chanting, feel the vibrations in the entire middle part of the body, especially in the heart region. Inhale. One last round. Inhale. Feel the vibrations of Ukara in the middle part of the body and relax. Let us relax the head region. 
Relax the chin and lips. Swallow a little bit of saliva and relax the entire throat. Relax the cheek muscles. Have a gentle smile on your face and relax. Relax the eyeballs, eyelids and eyebrows. Relax the forehead and entire facial muscles. Now the upper part of the body from neck region to top of the head region, crown part of the head region, completely relaxed. To enhance the relaxation, we are going to chant three rounds, Makara, Ani B sound. After deep inhalation, produce the sound through nostrils while exhaling and feel the vibrations throughout the head region. Three rounds. Inhale. Second round, inhale. Mm. One last round. Inhale. Feel the resonance of Makara, bumblebee sound in the entire head region and relax. Now the whole body from toes to head completely relax. Let us emphasize the whole body relaxation by combining all these three sounds in one breath. Ah, Uma chanting one time. Inhale. Ah. Feel the resonance of Aoma throughout the body and relax. Feeling the lightness of the body, enjoy the relaxation. All the muscles are so relaxed. All the joints of the body are feeling good. This deep relaxation releases all the tensions, worries from the mind. Just be with your breath, enjoy the relaxation. So bring your awareness to the tip of the toes. Slightly move your toes, move your fingers. Just bring your legs together, hands by the side. Hold your left leg and raise the right hand above the head or the head. 
turn towards your right side with your left hand support. Roll on to your right side. With the hand support, gently come to sitting position. Okay, sit in any comfortable position. We are going to practice now. Pranayama, Nadi Shuddhi Pranayam, alternate nostril breathing practice, Anulong Vilong Pranayam. Adapt Chin Mudra with your left hand, the Jnana Mudra. Adapt Nasika Mudra, fold your index and middle finger. <clears throat> Close your right nostril with the right thumb finger and completely exhale through left nostril. Now inhale through left nostril slowly. Close your left nostril with the little and the ring finger and exhale the right nostril slowly. Inhale the same nostril, right nostril, slowly. Close your right nostril with the right thumb and exhale through left nostril very slowly. This makes one round. We'll practice five to seven rounds for four minutes practice. After each inhalation, hold the breath like two, three seconds, pause the breath, then exhale through opposite nostril. Practice in a relaxed way. Check the position of your body. Keep your entire back straight. No tightness around the neck region. And have a gentle smile on your face. Practice in a relaxed way. Excellent practice. It balances our blood pressure, balances our body temperature. It removes the stress from the body and from the mind. Excellent practice for the spring allergies, regular practice. If you practice morning and evening, eight to 10 minutes, can get, get rid of the spring allergies. Breathe as slow as possible. Let your mind travel along with the breathing. So try to achieve oneness between the breathing and the mind. If your mind jumps to the distractions or other thoughts, Again and again, bring your mind back to the breath. One last round. After this round, exhaling through left nostril, gently start the practice. Keep your eyes closed. Enjoy the state of your mind after the practice. Just be with your breath.
to maintain this peaceful, blissful, and balanced state of the mind throughout the day. We are going to conclude this session with on Om Kar chanting and ending prayer. Is join your hands at the heart center in Namaskar Mudra. Inhale. Sarpe bhavanto sukhinaha, sarpe santo niramaya, sarpe bhatrani pashanto, makas chedo kabha agbhave, om shanta 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 he. Release the hand, slowly take them back. Catch your right wrist with the left palm. Inhale, slightly bend backward. Exhale, bend forward. Surrender to the great divine yoga and yoga masters. Inhale, come back to center. Release the hands. Gently wrap your palms. Generate the feet between the palms. Cup your palms, put them around the eyes. Feel the warmth around the eyes. Gentle massage on the forehead, facial muscles and neck muscles. Looking down, looking at the palms with few blinks, gently open your eyes. Thank you all and have a wonderful day. Namaste.